Hey folks, well there it is. There's the PK or personal kitchen. Or I should say personal, it's portable kitchen. So when I bought this and I made a couple of videos with it, one of the things I told you I wanted to do is do a restoration to this grill. I'm going to modify it a little bit, but I'm also going to do a restoration to it and restore some of this aluminum. So you can see I got the two shelves there. The shelf that sits in the front there, a little one off to the right, I'm probably going to totally eliminate that and put some wood up there. And then the one on the bottom, I'm thinking I'm going to flip it over, cut off some of it, and put some expanded steel in there. Uh, and the reason for that is it's, it's almost impossible to keep the ashes from falling through the bottom vents on this thing. So, like I said, you're going to see the whole series of uh, restoration to this. I've got the stand, I'll show you the stand here. I've kind of got it apart in pieces. And uh, you see, I've got the, the rails here. Now, I, I did one of these rails already, and uh, you know I know I'm not going to get it back to 100%. I'm using uh, my cordless drill, my Milwaukee cordless drill, and I've got a nice nylon uh, bristle brush on there that I've been using to sort of uh, get some of the scaling and that off there. And then I'm using a uh, polish on there uh, by Mothers. Um, anybody who does any polishing knows that Mothers makes some of the best stuff. It's a mag and aluminum polish, and I've just been polishing it up, and, uh, you know, I think it turned out pretty good. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but I think we're going to get it to the point where it's going to look good. So we're going to do a few other things, and I'm going to chronicle this as we go on, and uh, you'll be able to watch the whole thing, and uh, we'll post the whole thing when it's done, and, uh, you know, be patient, and you'll see the, uh, the PK come back to life with some interesting mods. Well, hey, folks, we're about two weeks into the restoration of the PK here. And uh, I just want to give you a uh, kind of look. I've got the uh, stand all tore apart. You can see here's, here's uh, one of the sections that I haven't refinished yet. And you can see all the pitted aluminum and everything. And then uh, here's a section that I have. And uh, it's, it's turning out pretty nice. Uh, you can see I am using some of the Mother's Megan Aluminum Polish. But only after I use uh, some nylon brushes in the drill. So I've got a coarse one here that I've been using and uh, that gets a lot of the pit out of the, out of the pits out and then uh, I've got a fine one here and I use that to kind of buff it out and then uh, we're using the mothers on that uh, to get the nice shine here and uh, we'll continue on and um, should have this back together here this weekend and I'll uh, give a quick video on that thanks for watching well, hey folks, there she is. Uh, there's the PK grill stand, uh, totally refurbished and done. Uh, I showed you last time how I was progressing on the uh, rails and everything. As, as you can tell, they turned out pretty decent. Uh, I, I got about eight hours in just into getting the aluminum back to normal. Uh, now you can see uh, I did talk about putting a wood shelf on, and there it is. That's just a piece of wood I got at Home Depot. It's uh, it's a piece of pine or something like that and uh, did cut a little texture in there and sanded it down real nice and put some spar varnish on there so it'll handle the weather nicely. On the bottom, I talked about what I was going to do with that bottom aluminum. I actually flipped it up so the rails are up so I can put stuff on there without it falling off. Secured it with two screws, polished it up nice, did cut two holes in there so that any ash coming out of the grill will fall down and then uh, put a piece of an expanded metal on there and I did paint that uh, expanded metal uh, with uh, some black spray paint so all in all you know it's turning out pretty nice and uh, next project is going to be to take the tubs and start polishing those up and uh, get this thing uh, back on there and once it's done uh, right now I probably got about thirty dollars into it paid two hundred for it used and uh, I don't expect I'll put a whole lot more in there so it's going to be uh, better than new when we're done. Well, hey folks, uh, there it is. There's the finished restoration to the PK grill. Uh, turned out, in my opinion, turned out uh, pretty nice. Uh, now for the lid in the bottom half, uh, I used the nylon brush again on the drill. Uh, what I found out is that this surface that's on here is, uh, that's not raw aluminum, that's painted aluminum. And the reason I can tell is you can see the blistering by the uh, by the vent there the paint is actually coming off so I got an email over to PK to see if they sell some touch-up paint you know if, if they did I would uh, probably clean this up a little bit more and then repaint that top uh, but other than that 
I think it turned out really well. On the inside, uh, you know, you can see we've got our grates in there. Now on the bottom, what I'm going to do, and I was kind of playing around with some of my wife's uh, cake pans, uh, but uh, two 9 by 13 cake pans fit perfectly in here. Uh, a little tight, uh, but they do fit. So I'm thinking of, uh, you know, rummage sale or goodwill, picking up uh, like three of those. And two will be, I'll drill a bunch of holes in for the, uh, for the charcoal baskets. And then uh, the third one will be like my drip pan for indirect. So um, I hope this uh, helped. And I'll tell you what, uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. And I like doing things like this. And uh, especially when, uh, you know, I can improve on the product a little bit. And there's probably one more thing that I'm going to do. I, I can't resist not putting a temperature gauge in here. So it'll probably go right in the center here on the lip. And uh, I know people will criticize that, but uh, I like a temperature gauge. So that'll be the only other thing I'll probably do to this grill. Other than that, uh, looks good. And you know, as always, folks, uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.